Now we will work on curves. So you can start by using the curve tool and you can just start clicking and seeing the kind of curves that it creates from where you click. As you'll notice, they keep, each time I click, the curves shift a little bit more. That's because of this degree here. So if you change that, say five, what that does is it takes into account the five um, points on either side of it to create the most well-adjusted curve. So you'll notice after, it'll, yeah, it'll adjust those five points as well to make a nice thing. And then you can just close it. And there's our abstract curve. Um, you can, let me make a simpler one to show the next point. Gonna bring this down to three so you can see the changes I think will be more extreme. And we'll just go ahead and leave this one open. When you wanna end your curve without closing it, you just hit enter or return and it'll be there. So remember how we did points on earlier? We're going to do something similar. Uh, that can be accessed by this tool here. Or, yeah, points on, curve points. So now you'll notice instead of the points being directly on the line, they are a bit offset and they have these bounding lines here. So you'll notice I can click and drag and that will gently adjust how my curve looks. And you can play around with these and make your line exactly how you want it. Now, if these options don't give you enough control here, um, you can do one of my favorite methods of making curves. Uh, this will use the point tool. The point will just create a single dot in your space. So I'm gonna drop a point here and here. You'll see how you can combine this for really useful object making and later in our 3D section. And so we have our points, we're gonna select our points. You can either do Command A to select all, drag and select them, or Command cell point PT. You'll have to figure out all the strange abbreviations for things in Rhino, so that'll take some getting used to. So now all of our points are selected. Now we are going to do curve through point. What that'll do is it will create a curve through all of our points. Um, again, you can change the degrees here to see the smoothness uh, it incorporates into each one. Um, additionally, you can change your cur uh, curve point to interpolated, which means with interpolated, it will pass through every single point that you created. However, with control point, it'll treat the points you created as the control points that we just used to adjust our last curve. With interpolated, you have additional options such as uh, chord and uniform that adjusts the degree of uh, curve. Uh, and you see there's a difference. And you can hit done. Uh, your points are their own object now. These do not count as control points for this curve, so you can just get rid of them. And you can still adjust this with points on and use this nifty thing.